hey there, I thought I'd talk about prayer again today. And sometimes we use prayer as a quick fix. We often pray in times of desperation. But I wanted to share a devotion with you today and some encouraging words around the subject of prayer. It can be easy to fall into the habit of praying only when we want a quick fix, miracle solution, or boost to get through a stressful moment in the day. Been there, done that. But prayer isn't just an opportunity to talk with God when we need extra help. Prayer is something that should be an integral part of our lives and relationship with God. Praying is just talking with God on a regular basis, not just when things are hard. The Bible tells us that Paul prayed regularly, especially for those in churches. Even when he was in prison, Paul continued to pray for others instead of praying for a quick fix or literal get out of jail card. In Ephesians 3.19, Paul prays for the church at Ephesus and writes, may you experience the love of Christ though it is too great to understand fully. Sometimes we just don't understand God. And even when we pray, we have to pray with faith and confidence. Whether we experience joy or sorrow, or blessing or hardship, we should pray to God regardless, regardless of our circumstances and emotions they bring up. James chapter 5, verse 13 says, Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Through the good and the bad, your decision to pray to God shouldn't be based on how you feel in the moment. It should be continuous. And if you do that, it's often easier to always be joyful and thankful no matter your circumstances. You see, sometimes prayer is not something we think of first. We think of talking to our friends, thinking of talking to family members, thinking of just doing stuff ourselves. But prayer should be the very first thing we do. Many people have prayer times first thing in the morning. When they get up, they pray with God. They pray to God. They praise with God just to start their day out. Even if it's a stressful day, sometimes people pray at night and thank God just for getting them through a stressful day. Because we don't understand stress. We don't. We can't and understand peace. So I have a couple of questions for you to think about. Think back to a time that you went to God for a quick fix. You try to bargain with God. You try to tell God, God, just get me out of this and I will dot, dot, dot. Many of us have done that before. There's a story that's told about somebody that, that prayed to God that they would win the lottery. And he told the pastor this as well and said that when they win the lottery because God's going to help them do it, that they would tie to the church. And the pastor looked at him and said, why should I believe you? You don't tithe now. Why should I believe that you're tithe if you get the lottery? He was trying for a quick fix. And he thought that if he promised God and if he promised the church something, that God would hear his prayer and honor it. So I encourage you. No matter how you feel, take time each day to pray. Take time each day to sit quietly with God. Take time to just thank God for the blessings that you have that many people don't. If you're watching this, you have the capability of having access to technology. Some people don't have that. If you're able to hear, then you have ears to hear. If you can see. We have eyes to see. There are so many things we can be grateful for, as well as so many things that we can pray to God about. Just don't do it when you feel like it. Do it every day. Make it a habit. And I guarantee you things will begin to change in your life because prayer not only changes God, it changes you. Pray with me. God, we thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you that you are always there to hear us when we're happy. And when we're sad, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of peace, remind us, God, to pray to you at all times. May your praise be continuously in our mouth. God, may those that listen to this time, this day, may they be encouraged to know that you are always there, even when things are stressful. And sometimes, God, we just don't know how to pray. But we can say thank you. We can ask you to be with us. We can't ask you to watch over us. 
So God, this day, thank you for the power of prayer. Thank you for the opportunity each and every day to come to you, to talk with you, and to thank you. God, we lift these up to you in the name of Jesus. Amen and Ashe. May this day be a day that will be good for you. May this day be a day of prayer. Goodbye.